Hey guys, so I'm going to film a haul video today for you guys, and I know I always film hauls, but they're so easy to film, and they're really, really fun. I enjoy showing you guys what I pick up and getting your feedback on it and stuff like that. The first thing that I got is this Hard Candy Fox in a Box, and this is in the color Smooth Talker, and this is what the colors look like. And it, this is the one that is like a dupe for the um, Benefit Sugar Bomb. And I'm actually wearing it today, so can you see all the colors in there? <laughs> I hate when people do that. Next thing I picked up from Ulta is this NYX lipstick, and this is in the color Power. And I don't know if it'll focus there, but this is the color. It's just a really pretty purple color. That's the color there. Super, super purple color, like purple. And then I picked up this Revlon nail polish in black with Envy. And this was a dupe for Chanel something or other, but Michelle 1218 was talking about it. So I just happened to pass it. I wasn't looking for it. I was like, oh, let me pick that up. What's another nail polish going to hurt me? <laughs> and then I also picked up this EOS lotion. Um, this is supposed to be 97% natural paraben free. And this is in the cucumber scent. And I just thought it was like the cutest little thing of lotion ever. I haven't tried it, we'll see. But it smells like cucumber, like the cucumber melon scent from Bath & Body Works. So, that's that. And then I also picked up Versace Bright Crystal. This is for my mom for Mother's Day. This probably won't go up before Mother's Day, but this is what I, this is what I picked her up. I'm going to get her this in a Pandora bracelet for Mother's Day. Um, she had actually had this scent like, year, I don't even know, three years ago. And she didn't care for it, and so she gave it to me. And the more I wore it, the more she was like, you know, let me try that out again. So she got one, and she ended up really liking it. So she was out. So I picked her up this, and like I said, I'm gonna, me and my brother are going to get her a Pandora bracelet for um, Mother's Day this Sunday. And then because I got the um, perfume, I got one of these three bags. And I had already had the, I got the pink one already the last time I got perfumes. So um, my roommate Tara wanted one, so I got her. I got her the turquoise one because I already had the pink one. And then from Target, I got a couple things that I was really excited about. One thing that you guys may not know about me that I'm a scrapbook like diva. I love scrapbooking. I have so much stuff. And the dollar section in Target has really really nice selection of uh, scrapbooking things for only a dollar. So I picked up some of these foam stickers. This is in just like, it has these in them, lollipops and ice creams and stuff. Just cute things. And these have flowers and peace signs. And so, I mean, I don't really have them for anything specific. I just, I get them just because they're cute. And they're only a dollar. So I picked up those. And then I picked up from the dollar section also just more hair ties. These are the ouchless ones. Um, and they were, this was only a dollar, so you can never use too many hair ties. So I picked up that. But the things that I was most excited about, first off, this is what I was most excited about. Target is the only place that sells Milani, I believe. I can't find it anywhere else, so I'm thinking Target's the only place. So I've been wanting to pick up the Milani Liquify Eyeliner. And this is in the color 01 Black, but I've seen so many people use this, and it glides on like a dream. So I'm really, really excited. In fact, let me open it right now. <laughs> I can't wait. But I just heard that this was so creamy. Oh my god, it is. Yes, I'm so excited. I'm like literally, I don't even know if I can show you, like barely touching. I'm like barely touching. That's so awesome. It's almost as if it was liquid. Yay, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'll let you guys know how I end up liking that, but I'm sure I'm going to love it. Oh, and if you're wondering why my nails are so yellow, it's from this nail polish here. Don't buy it. <laughs> They're stained. This is the name of it. I'm Beauty. Don't buy it. It completely stains your nails. Look, yellow, yellow, yellow. Uh, horrible. Next stuff I have is from Sephora and Elf, and I have a bunch of stuff, so I'm just going to show you what I got. Um, first thing from e.l.f., this is a lip stain, and this is in the color Heartbreaker. So it's right there. It's kind of like, I thought it was going to be more of like a pinky color, and it's almost like an orange brown color. So I picked up another one of the lip stains, and this one's in the color Birthday Suit. So this looks like a little bit more my style. It's like a pinky, a little bit brighter than what I'm wearing right now, but Again, it comes with the lip stain on one side, and that's that one right there. It's kind of like a purpley pink. So yeah, I think this one's going to work out pretty, especially when you kind of blend it out a little bit. It's not so hot pink. 
good. I think that one's going to be really pretty. And again, these I only paid $1.50 for them, and it comes with a clear glass on, on the other side. So, really like that color. And then, if you guys watched my April Favorites video, then you know I have been in love with the e.l.f. Um, uh, conditioning lip balms SPF 15 in the color peaceful pink so I picked up five of them I actually picked up six of them here's all of them here I know that's ridiculous but I was actually I'm gonna have a giveaway soon so I'm gonna be giving a couple of them away I, I own one already and I actually only bought like one of them maybe two for myself I haven't decided how many give how many winners I want but I actually bought six of them so these are all the peaceful pinks they sent me my sixth one, but it's in the color Romantic Rouge, which is a pretty color. It's like this red color. That's not what I ordered. So I don't know. I don't know what the heck happened. Elf can't get their stuff together. But so I guess I'm keeping this one. I don't have this color, so I guess that's good. But it's probably going to be too dark for just like an, like an everyday type conditioning balm. Like, that was barely nothing, and look, <laughs> like, you'd really have to kind of blend it in and not use hardly anything to get just, like, a tint of color in your lips, so, I don't know, we'll see. I may or may not like that. You guys know I love their lip stains. Not their lip stains, I just got done talking about the lip stains. The, um, matte lip colors. Yeah, and that's all I have in there. The matte lip colors, and this is in the color T-Rose. So I picked up four of these, and again, because they were only $1.50, and I already have a backup, so I actually bought these four for you guys. I may keep one. Like I said, I can't decide if I want three or four winners, however many winners of my giveaway. So I bought these for you guys because they're one of my favorites, so they'll stay in the packaging. And then I also got... The press powder, this is um, from the dollar line, no, from the studio line as well. And somebody was talking about this, I can't remember who, but they said that they really, really liked it. And this is in the color sand. This is what the inside looks like. Mirrors on top, this is the color of the foundation. And it, look, does it look close to my color? <laughs> looks like it'll match. And it comes with one of these little puff things. And actually, this puff wouldn't be too, too bad to use because I don't know if you can tell here, but it has holes here to let this thing breathe so bacteria doesn't build up on it so it really wouldn't be too bad it kind of reminds me of the mineral foundation from max so anyway that's what it is and it's really really smooth I can already tell that so we'll see hopefully it matches me and hopefully I like it because it didn't again for $1.50 it's like god you can't even beat that and I want to move a little quicker so I got three things from the dollar line the first thing is the um, brightening eye color this is in the color Lux. You can get these from Target. It's just a really, really little quad, and it comes with um, this little thing that I'll never use, so I always end up throwing them away. Oh, and it has a little mirror under there. How cute. But <laughs> anyway, these are the colors that it comes with, and I really just thought this was a gorgeous palette. I mean, here's one color. That not that pretty? Oh, my God. I love it. I think this. these are so pigmented for only a dollar. Dang, I'm really impressed already. And just first impression, look at that. Bam. That's high pigmentation for one buck. I love it. Sorry, I had to take off all those swatches and it still stained my hand. Um, so anyway, I picked up another one of the eye brightening colors. This is in the color Day Tonight. And this is what the colors look like. And the colors are really, really pigmented. But there is a little bit, like this one especially. Can you tell? There's like a lot of fallout there. But... The colors are really pigmented. Like, look at that. That's crazy. I've never tried these before. So I'm really glad I picked them up. Also from the studio line, I picked up five of their brushes. And don't ask me why, because I have a bazillion and one brushes. But they were dollar fifty, like. And I wanted to see if they were good for you guys. So I picked up the small angle brush, which looks like this. And then this brush is the powder brush. And so many people raved about this. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to try it. So anyway, this is what this looks like. It reminds me of the Flat Top Kabuki. It's very soft. Let's just do a small demonstration with my e.l.f. powder since it's supposed to be for powder. Okay, and I can see how it doesn't make, like it picks up the powder really well. It doesn't make, look, it's completely taking away my shine. That's good. Good powder. Feels nice. 
I like it. Both of them are winners. I like them so far, so that's good. <laughs> Glad I picked up this one. And then the other brushes were kind of not necessary. I really wanted those two brushes. These I just picked up because I had the coupon code, and I'm a sucker for coupons. We all know this. So this one is the blush brush. Then I picked up the fan brush, and I'm sorry, this video is getting really long, but I picked this one up because I don't have a fan brush, and I was kind of weary about picking it up because it does look a little bit cheap, even on the website, but I mean, it's okay. It's not as like thick and full as I like it, but it is really soft. And then last from eyeslipsface.com, I bought a small precision brush, and again, these are all from the studio line. And this small precision brush looks like this very, very tiny. I lied. Last thing I bought from e.l.f. Um, is this natural radiance blusher from the dollar line. It's in the color Shy. And it's just a really, really pretty pink color. So, I mean, it's a little chalky. I don't know if it's going to work or not. But for only a dollar, I just I can't get over how little it is. <laughs> anyway, so last from Sephora, I got a couple, just, what did I get? Two things from Sephora. For a free gift, like if you put on a put in a coupon code, they sent you this, and this is the Versace Bright Crystal, like a little baby one. Isn't that cute? It's adorable. So <laughs> I was really excited about that. So I got that. And then the two things that I actually got from there is a Tarte blush, and I've heard so many people rave about these, especially Makeup by Tiffany D, and then um, Legally Brunette Two and Four, and especially Nikki. She like has every single blush she's in love with these things I got the one in blushing bride and I can't lie I'm kind of biased I got it because you know blushing bride I thought that was a really cute name and there's a swatch of it and I was gonna put some on my cheek even though I have like a ridiculous amount of blush on and I'm gonna use my health brush we'll see how this applies so first off very pigmented like that was barely one stroke and Oh my gosh, it's really pigmented. You guys probably can't even tell like how pigmented this blush is. Like you probably it probably looks like I'm wearing normal blush, but it's very pigmented. Like you have to have a very very light hand with this blush, but it is really really pretty. The color I thought was going to come off a lot darker than what it actually came off. So even though these blushes are $25, which is a huge, like, huge amount of money for a blush, it does seem like it would be well worth it. So we'll see how long this lasts, and I'll let you guys know. But then the last thing I picked up from Sephora, and then I promise this video is going to be over, is a beauty blender. And again, I've been sucked in by those two girls too, Makeup by Tiffany D and Legally Brunette 214. I actually picked up... Um, the fake beauty blender or whatever, the one that looks like the uh, Sonia Kashuk one. I got this from Ulta. I think it was like six bucks and I hated it. I don't know what the heck was wrong with it. And like, no wonder it was only six dollars. It sucks. I didn't like it. And I didn't like the way that it was shaped. Like, I didn't feel like it was, it was hard. It's hard. Like, it's not soft like this one. And it doesn't pounce on your skin. Like, it feels like you're hitting yourself with something. And then the underneath one, like underneath your eye, it doesn't roll. Like, I feel like it gets stuck to your skin a little bit. So I wasn't really too, too impressed. So I was kind of worried about getting these because this particular package retails for, I think it was like $40. And so I was really nervous because I was like, man, maybe I should just get one of them. Maybe I shouldn't buy the whole package, but no, I'm crazy about both. And oh my god, they're so pretty. Like, I love them. Look, they're like glowing. Are they glowing for you guys? They're totally glowing for me and my thing. I love the fact that they're like hot neon pink. So anyway, they're really soft, like so much softer compared to that. I can't even like get over it. Oh, they're so nice. I feel it. I feel my foundation applying beautifully. <laughs> One of these is $19.95, so if you can afford to get the package, some people say they don't like the cleanser on this, but I'm going to give it a try and see what I think for myself. Um, I'm not even sure. I haven't read the directions. Okay, directions for use on the back, so <laughs> I'll figure it out, and I'll let you guys know what I think. And if I love it, I will totally do a foundation routine from start to finish using it, but I have to kind of practice first because I don't want to have, like, hideous makeup and show you guys. But anyway, I'm super excited. I like This is going to look so cute on my thing. I can't wait. So <laughs> anyway, hope you guys like this really long haul. Sorry it was so long, and sorry there's always so many hauls. Let me know down below what you think, guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.